Okay, today we're going to do a little experiment taking the back EMF from the motor and um, following it down here. It's going into this cap, and from the cap, it's going into this um, uh, hydrogen oxygen splitter to supply electricity, direct current to it, and it splits. Well, although we're pulsing the back EMF into the cap, and the cap is supplying that, we got a voltmeter down here on the floor to show the volts in the cap. As you can see, there's nothing in there now. Half a millivolt. Oh, it's going to turn on. There we go. Okay. And uh, the motor will self-start, we found. Let's bring the voltage up. We're up to about 60 or so. Yeah. There we go. Self-started, so... It's using a little more amps when this is hooked up because the impedance match matching isn't proper. But already you can see some gas being produced off there. And we're at um, 11 volts. And you know, there's a bit of gas coming off there. Not too bad. We haven't done any calculations, it's just all preliminary. Just hooked it up and tried it. And um, we're at 52 volts, we'll take the motor up. The amps, the bolts going up. We're just spinning. And watch the gas production. We're getting RPM of, well, really at an angle. Yeah. RPM is uh, 1600 almost. Uh, 5 amps. Um, because it's not impedance mapped properly, it's drawing. The motor slows down when we add this, but we may be able to fix that in a little bit. We're there, and we're at 15 volts, 16 volts almost. Okay, we'll take the motor up a bit. 70 volts. It's just not balanced, that's all. But, uh, this is the garage. Oop. A little vibration there. Hold on. Try it again. There we go. 120 volts. And it's, uh, a little over 8 amps. And if I load this, the shaft, nothing happens to the Production stays the same. Volts there, we got like 30, 28 volts. There's off again. Actually, when you load it down a bit here, go ahead and load it. Not, not a lot, but just, you know. Nothing's happening there. And in fact, the amps go down a little bit as you load it again. Hydrogen and oxygen gas, so um, it's uh, explosive. We'll hopefully, we're going to be opening flames near here, but uh, I don't think so. That's the production of the gas. Now, if this is better impedance match, this would work a lot better. We wouldn't have so much amp draw off of the uh, off the motor. But anyway, that's uh, the coils get hot because of this. Now they get hotter than usual. They're like 130 degrees. Yeah, so we're going to bring this down. A little hotter than we like to run them. But it's 
still producing quite a bit of gas, even at uh, 96 volts. car that's producing uh, thermal heat, RPM, torque, thermal heat, which can be converted into electricity or anything else, and um, hydrogen, which can be put into a fuel cell or, or burnt and put into a turbine, uh, multiple uses. So this is just preliminary. 